Yerp. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. In today's video, you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a mods list, an updated mods list on Vader. So that being said, for those of you who are wondering what the setup is on this car, what the boltons are on this car, whoop -de whoop this vlog is for you, so don't go nowhere. Matter of fact, do your boy a favor, hit that like button right now, and let's roll that intro. All right, y'all, so I'm going to start with the exterior mods first, and then I'll work my way into the interior mods. And then at the very end or in the middle, I'm not 100 percent sure how I'm going to do it. We'll pop that hood and talk about what's underneath it, because I know that's exactly what you guys are here for. So starting off with the front end of the car, man, we have the Anderson Composites double sided ZL1 style carbon fiber hood. We have the Drake Muscle Dive Planes that are sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports. Shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports. We have the EOS Carbon Fiber ZL1 Style Front Splitter. We have the ZL1, the ZL1 Add-ons Tow Hook, which actually doubles back as a license plate frame as well. Moving down the side of the car, we're still on the stock 1LE wheels. This car is a 1LE. We have the carbon fiber mirror covers. We have the carbon fiber door handles. We have the carbon fiber ZL1 style side skirts. I know they look like they got eczema. It's cool. We've got the carbon fiber antenna cover. We've got the Anderson Composites double-sided carbon fiber trunk. We've got the... I believe it's ZL1 add-ons diffuser splats as well. Then we have the sequenced third brake light. Now this third brake light actually does a little pattern whenever you step on the brakes. And then after that, there's also a party function that you can cut on whenever you're going to a car meet or whatnot. And it'll actually stay on the entire time, whether you're on the brakes or not, whether the car is running or not. And it's going to be doing a dance the entire time. Um, I wonder. I'm going to try to set the f camera up real quick and step on the brake so that you guys can see the sequence. So, yeah, as you guys seen, that is the little function that my third brake light does whenever I step on the brakes. Um, moving along to the side of the car. <laughs> I get asked this the most. We've got the LED white side markers. I got these off of Amazon. Literally after I bought them, bro, they went out of stock and they have not restocked ever since. I've had these as long as I've had the car. Legit. So for those of you who are asking me, I got them off Amazon, bro. Coming down the side, we've got the carbon fiber gas cap. Again, same thing. Um, all of the 1LE emblems that you see on the side of the car, on the rear end of the car, they're all sourced through Amazon. Um, let's go ahead and move to the interior. <sighs> We're met with way more carbon. So we've got the carbon on the door handles. Well, on the window controls. We've got the carbon on the door handles. We've got the carbon on the door handle sur surround we've got the carbon on the dashboard we've got the carbon on the radio on the knee pads on the ac controls <laughs> on the gear shifter on the gear shifter surround on the steering wheel the full carbon fiber flat bottom and top steering wheel we've got the carbon fiber bezels for the mile an hour 
Let me go ahead and put this joint in accessory mode so you guys can see the J.I. Galaxy. Sheesh. So for those of you that are asking and wondering, we've got 1,150 stars in this guy. You dig what I'm saying? Now, now that we've covered the interior, we've covered the exterior. I'm going to do what you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to pop the hood and show you guys what's underneath it. Oh, yeah. Carbon fiber everywhere. Literally, the whole dash is covered. Also, for my gauges, I'm running the AEM wideband, and I'm also running the P3. Just to let you guys know, for those of you who are intrigued, interested, and whatnot. Now... The meat and potatoes. Really and truly the steak. You know what I'm saying? Pop in the hood, man. I get this question all the time. What's done underneath the hood, bro? What's done underneath the hood, bro? It's a very simple setup, and I'm going to let you guys know now. We've got the Rotofab with the dry filter. We've got the ported LT2 intake manifold. The ported LT1 stock throttle body. We've got inch and seven eighth speed engineering long tube headers that are catless and then we have the e85 flex fuel kit and we have a jlt oil catch can that's about it now as far as the long tube headers go they are connected to three inch connecting pipes a three inch x pipe and it goes all the way back to shout out to my sponsor awe for the awe track axle back exhaust and i can't lie it sounds phenomenal um i'll go ahead and insert a couple clips of the car you know what i'm saying at wide open throttle if i have any probably some going down the drag strip or some 60 to 130 hit. y'all that is literally it the car is tuned shout out to my guy rk but we do not have a trans tune on this car yet we are still on the stock tcm um and the stock tune that comes with it i haven't made any edits yet no changes that is literally it it is one of the most simple bolt-on setups out there to be honest but it works it does what it needs to do it'll spin the tires when you want it to it uh dead hook at the track it'll uh, walk some people when you want it to literally everything that you could want this car to do it does quick little thumbnail action but yeah man i just wanted to go over this real quick because a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section down below a lot of you guys have been dming me and so i just wanted to go ahead and make a video running through everything real quick so that you guys are updated and you guys can just watch this video for reference <laughs> instead of continuously DMing and commenting the same thing. Other than that, y'all, that is literally it. When I tell y'all it is one of the most basic bolt-on setups, I, I'm not capping. This is literally it. So that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and close this video here. If you're new to the channel, do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Join the J.I. squad. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you were one of the people who wanted to know what all was done to the car, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.